All right. Hi, everybody. Um, thank you so much for joining us for our latest session in the Northeast Marketing Bootcamp webinar series. Uh, this webinar series is presented by Advanced Media New York, PA Media Group, and Mass Live Media Group, and brings together digital marketing experts from across the Northeast to share their experience on a wide variety of topics, from adjusting your marketing to account for a cookie-less world, to creative messaging development, event planning, and more. We encourage you to visit nebootcamp.com to see our full schedule of webinars happening now through the end of July. Uh, you can also view the recordings of previous web webinars from this series on that page as well. Um, so on to today's session. Um, it's titled, you know, Make Your Campaign a Winner Using Contesting to Generate Leads and Drive Engagement. Today's webinar will be led by Dylan Carpenter, the Customer Success Manager at Advanced Media New York. Dylan works with customers across many disciplines to develop sweepstakes and other contest contesting programs uh, with the end goal of improving brand engagements and lead generation. He's experienced firsthand what makes a sweepstake successful and is excited to pass along this knowledge and best practices to all of you today. Um, a couple housekeeping points before we turn it over to Dylan. Uh, during the course of the presentation, participants will be muted. However, feel free to comment and ask questions in the chat feature. The chat feature can be found at the top of your screen and looks like a cartoon conversation bubble. Click on that and the chat box should appear on the right hand side of your screen. To submit a question or comment, enter it into the field at the bottom of the chat box window and press enter or click the little paper airplane logo. The chat box will be regularly monitored and we can assist you in real time with any problems that you might be having. And questions will be held until the Q&A period at the end of the session. Uh, but we do encourage you to submit questions throughout the session um, whenever we might think one up. Um, this webinar will also be recorded and all recordings from the webinar series can be found at nebootcamp.com. The session will also be emailed out to attendees um, after the conclusion of the presentation. So I think that's it for now and I'll turn it over to Dylan to discuss contesting and sweepstakes with you all. Dylan. Thank you so much, Lindsay. Thanks for the introduction and thanks uh, to all of you for being here. Um, selfishly, um, I was a little happy that um, uh, we got some rain today, kind of crappy because if it was nice out, you know, people might go to lunch or, you know, be, be outside and they wouldn't want to spend some time listening to uh, listen to me talk about contesting, but I'm, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad it's a, a gloomy day, uh, selfishly, but um, I will get started. Um, and as Lindsay said, you know, please ask ask a lot of questions. I love questions. Um, I know some of this might be um, uh, new for some of you. You haven't uh, uh, dived into con contesting for your business. Um, so, so the goal for me today um, really is is to give you guys a sense of how well um, contesting can work for your business and help achieve your business goals. Um, some people might think of contesting as you know, like some you know, a, a, a marketing gimmick, um, but it, it couldn't you know be be further from that. It really is a really useful tool um, to generate leads for your business, to drive engagement, um, to help develop your brand, to develop um, a, a, a customer loyalty. All these good things we'll talk about. Um, and as we go through this presentation, you'll see um, examples of, of contests that, that we've worked with different clients on. Um, so you'll see examples of those. But, but you know, again, this, this is meant to, to, to help you get a sense of how well it works and even, you know, give you um, uh, some tools to, to do this on your own if you'd like um, or work with a, a contesting partner. Uh, so, you know, again, welcome to make your campaign a winner using contesting to generate leads and drive engagement. Um, presented by myself, Dylan Carpenter. I've been the, uh, at Advanced Media New York for seven years. Um, currently, customer success manager, so I help lead a team that, that ensures that our clients are happy and that we're doing everything we can as a marketing partner to help that business achieve their goals. But also, I lead up um, our initiatives with um contesting and help businesses get into to contesting so our agenda for today um i'm going to talk about the different types of um promotion so that's a new word i'm going to introduce right now promotions um, um and really all that is is you know uh, a different way to use a sweepstakes or a contest or or something even more interactive like a quiz or a, a fun bracket 
um, uh, to help achieve your business goals. We'll talk about the benefits of promotions, um, how they can help generate leads and differentiate, 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 excuse me, uh, yourself from your competitors. Um, I'll give you some, uh, 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 you know, a little step by step of, of how you would execute it. Um, you know, this, this, this session, you know, is, is only, you know, uh, about an hour long. So I, you know, I, I won't be able to give you the whole step by step of how you create a, a promotion on your, on your own. But I give you some, you know, snackable um, um, steps of, of how to do that and, you know, kind of get started. I'll give you case studies of, of some different uh, businesses that worked with us with contesting and promotions. Um, talk about, you know, if, 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 if you, you know, have the desire to work with a, with a promotions partner, what that will look like. And then at the end, as Lindsay mentioned, we will talk about or um, we'll welcome questions. Um, so uh, uh, promotions, what is a promotion? I'm going to use that word a lot. Um, a promotion is a customized sweepstakes content uh, contest. Um, a piece of interactive content um, could be any one of those things, and they're designed to help achieve your your businesses uh, or organizations goals. And I'm going to talk about four different types of promotions. These aren't all the types of promotions that you could do. These are the four. Um, main ones that in my experience have been most effective and drive a lot of engagement and drive a lot of ROI for, for businesses. The first is a simple sweepstakes. So this is just your, your typical enter to win. And I'm sure uh, many, if not all of you have participated in a sweepstakes. Um, usually you, you fill out some information, you enter your name, and then uh, you're eligible to be one you know, one winner or one of many winners um, of a prize from from whoever is administering the sweepstakes. Um, the next uh, next type of promotion is contests. So the difference between a contest and a sweepstakes, and sometimes people use those um, uh, to mean the same thing, and really they're different. The sweepstakes again is is you're you're randomly uh, 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 you're entering a a promotion in which you're randomly selected to win something. A contest is is where you're submitting something, and um, um, there's there's a there's a judging element to it. And you know there's 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 a winner, and then there's you know everyone else. Um, and those come in a few different forms. It can be a photo contest, so you're uploading a photo um, that fits the theme of that that contest, or a video. Um, or even a written submission. So, you know, there's, you know, you could do a, a recipe contest uh, or something like that, where, you, you know, a, a favorite memory of something where you're, where you're submitting something, people are judging it, and then a winner is picked that way versus chosen randomly. The next is uh, a quiz. So th this might be a little different to, to some of you, and um, there'll be plenty of examples of, of all these things throughout the presentation, uh, but uh, a quiz, um, in the promotions world is something designed to it's, you know, a, 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 a quiz that, you know, asks questions, but it's designed to um, educate, uh, uh, educate someone or or kind of, you know, be a fun personality quiz or test someone's knowledge of something. So an intelligence quiz um, and these uh, just like a contest or a sweepstakes, you know, the way uh, you can use a quiz as a promotion is you're offering some sort of prize or you're promoting something with that quiz. So there's a promotional element to it, um, but you're asking people to come in, um, take your quiz, and then they'll get some sort of result, either saying, you know, this is your personality type for this quiz, or this is your, uh, this is your score, this is how many you got right um, on your quiz. Um, and then brackets. Um, I'm sure some of you have, have seen these, some of you might have not, but um, voting brackets have become very, very popular over the years. Um, you know, the most traditional bracket we think of is like March Madness, right? You know, you fill out that bracket. Um, a voting bracket, and I'll show you an example of this, is, you know, just uh, a, a, a seated bracket, just like you would, you would see for March Madness or something like that. But, um, it's different, you know, items or entries that people vote on, 
and you know there's different rounds and people vote through each round and there's a winner so like for example you know one of my favorite ones i, I took a or not took but um participated in a uh uh who's the the um uh, uh best movie villain you know and it was a bracket and there was all these you know entries you know lord voldemort and all, and all these uh, uh entries and you know you voted on the different um um matchups and ultimately there was a winner and you can you know incorporate a, a a prize into that so you know just entering you know your vote into the bracket will will get you um uh, uh a chance to win some sort of prize from that business uh, promoting the bracket and I'll, i will you know definitely give you um a good example of what that looks like so um we talked about what you know what promotions are what you know the different types of promotions but what why would you do a promotion like that you know what are the benefits um and there's two main ones uh one is lead generation which is you know by far uh the main kpi for for uh our partners when they work with us on contests um and definitely it's the most fruitful thing that you can um, um do um you know uh, that, that you can get out of a promotion whether you're doing it on your own or working with a partner uh, the lead generation aspect of it and that's because when people are entering your promotion they're giving you their information right they're giving you their email address their name um, you know their phone number oftentimes you know their postal code to make sure that you know they live in the area where you're you know um, executing the promotion um, and you can include an opt-in uh, uh, checkbox on that um, promotion on that on that form where you're asking people um, you know to be able to contact them because we don't want to um, you don't ever want to uh, uh, run a promotion and not ask for people's permission to reach out to them after the contest um, because they gave you your information. Um, you know, that's just a, 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 a practice that you'd want to stay away from, not only, you know, in, in a marketing sense, but as a business sense. You know, all communications to, uh, to potential customers should be voluntary. Um, so you'll see uh, the examples I have below. Um, again, this is uh, an example of a, a, a promotion that we did um, uh, for a uh, one of our partners. Um, it was a weekend getaway that people were entering, and you could see on the right there um, the the what the form looked like. People would enter their name, email, postal code, phone number, and then they were able to opt in to receive news and information from the sponsor. Um, um and and you know the, the sponsor can then use that you know to grow their database they take all those um people who opted in and now they're able to market to them so that's the lead generation aspect of it um and that's from an email standpoint you can also that you can also use that that checkbox to say you know if you're a um a contractor yes i would like to receive um a, a free estimate from you know, uh, John Smith window company or a free consultation from this, you know, financial planner. Um, so that that's where the lead generation comes in. And it's, you know, very typical for, for a promotion to have that lead generation on there. And people expect that. I mean, you're giving away something um, of value. And in return, you're asking people to, you know, give, you know, give you a chance um to 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 talk to them about your business and you know in the email form or through calling them if you have a sales team um you know that's that's the that's the main kpi here and on the left uh you'll see on that uh, uh again on that form survey questions so oftentimes uh we'll incorporate or you should incorporate survey questions on that form when people are are entering your your promotion so you can then um, segment those customers afterwards based on their interests, um, based on things that they volunteered about themselves. So, you know, if, if, if you're a, a grocery store and you want to know if um, people are most interested in coming to you for your beer selection or your bakery or the meat selection that you offer, you would ask that question on your form. And then afterwards, you would have all of that information for each one of the people who opted into your promotion. 
So you would know exactly what their interests are. So this this level of lead generation, you know, this rich data that you get afterwards uh, from a promotion really makes it um, running running these promotions worth it. And then the other side of it, um, uh, one of the other benefits rather is competitive differentiation. Um, you know, doing a, uh, 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 running a promotion like a sweepstakes or a contest or a quiz really gets your brand out there in, in a different way. It engages customers. People are coming in and interacting with your brand um, in a way that's different from traditional advertising. Now, there's anything wrong with traditional advertising messages, um, but it's a unique way to connect with people. Um, and it creates a positive buzz for your brand. I mean, if you're giving away something of value um, that you know they 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 really want and will help you know um, help you you know your your brand um, you know your your brand's reputation and building customer loyalty and getting people to really interact with your brand. I mean, giving something away um, you know that makes sense for your business is a great way to do it. I included uh, this this graph in here because I, I really wanted to stress the importance of email tying back to that lead generation that we just talked about. Um, and this is, you know, this 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 slide is from uh, I, I borrowed this from our um, contesting vendor um, on a webinar they did earlier in the year, um, and they were they were they were stressing the importance of email as um, a, a, a great ROI medium for biz for local businesses. Um, and not a lot of people, you know, think of that because it's, you know, email has been around so long um, and people are used to it and they might, you know, forget about its effectiveness because of all the new things, you know, all the new social media platforms, TikTok this, TikTok that, all that stuff's good, but people forget about, you know, old reliable email. And this is your owned and operated email. This is your email database. You know, the, 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 the most valuable thing you can have, um, in my opinion, and it's um, backed up here, is a strong, um, valuable email database with people that have opted in to receive messages from you. Because when you have people raising their hand and saying, I, I would like to receive messages from you, I want to know about deals, I want to know about events, offers, I want to know what's up with your business, you know, on a regular basis, those are your best potential customers. And those are the people that you can market to pretty cost effectively. And that's where the, you know, the high ROI comes in. Um, email can be, can be run very cost effectively and it's sent to people who, you know, are really interested in your business. So tying back to that lead generation, the email opt-in that, that you can do with with contesting is really um, it's really important for, for for your business and something that you know I encourage uh, everyone to get into if if they're able to. All right, going back to the different types of of uh, uh, promotions, um, I'll have a, a slide for each of the different types of promotions we talked about, and I have examples on the right just to give you guys some really good concepts of what businesses are doing, what kind of contests and, and sweepstakes and different things you can do. And examples of, um, you know, what, what, a, what a contest form looks like. Excuse me, what the opt-in checkboxes look like. And then what types of survey questions are businesses asking to give you an idea, you know, how can I um, use survey questions in a promotion to um, to really uh, 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 get good data and make that a good lead. So again, sweepstakes, um, um, a simple enter to win, randomly select selected winner. Um, there's no judging component like there is with a contest. Um, offer a valuable prize, and you're going to see that in every one of these um, uh, every one of these slides because that's important. Um, and, 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 you know, I know someone's going to ask, um, uh, uh, you know, what should I offer as a prize? How much should I offer as a prize? And um, the answer really is whatever makes the most sense for your business. Um, you don't want to offer too much so that you're giving too much away and it's hurting, hurting you financially. You know, you want, you want a promotion to have strong ROI. At the same time, you don't want to go too low 
and you know not make the the, the prize enticing enough that people you know uh, aren't as interested in participating in promotion i will say oftentimes our our we, we i i see prizes in the 100 to 300 dollar range i've seen it all the way up to four thousand nine hundred dollars where when you hit five thousand you have to register it with new york state and that's that's you know a whole bunch of uh hoops you have to jump through but um whatever makes most sense for your business but i will say the better the prize the better chance for participation the more entries and when you have more entries you have more potential for lead jack you have more people that you can potentially message to later on with um uh, your offers and your deals and things you want to communicate to um to your potential customers so you know you you require entrance to fill out required info and you need all of this stuff obviously you know for for lead generation purposes but also you just you need the information to know who to contact um you know once it's over and you, and you draw a winner um and you need these things you know as a part of um uh, your sweepstakes rules. You know, we'll talk about later on how um, you, you have to have some set of rules when you run a, a promotion. Um, and, you know, in, in any, you know, set of rules, it will be required that you, you ask for some user information. So not only does this help from a lead generation standpoint, but it's standard stuff to ask for um, when you are uh, running promotion. And it's it's very typical. No one ever shies away from it. Because they're, you know, they're entering to win something. It's not like we're asking for this stuff um, for free. And then, you know, uh, ask survey questions. That's that's a really big thing. Um, whether you, you run it with a promotions partner, whether you run it on your own, on your contest form, on your promotions form, make sure that you have one to maybe two uh, survey questions that qualify that person as a lead or helps you gain data on that you know, potential customer. Um, you know, if if you are a, a, a if you're a landscaping service like the, the like the um, uh, example here, you might want to ask a question uh, like, "Are you a homeowner?" Because if someone's not a homeowner, they might you know you might not even be able to to you know redeem the the landscaping services because um, you know your your landlord takes care of that or something like that. So. You want to make sure that you're using the survey questions to uh, gain as much data as possible. And again, that's tied back to your business goals. You know, what are you trying to um, um, achieve here? So, for example, if, if you're a uh, uh, if you're a furniture retailer and you've got a brand new you know furniture set that you want to promote, um, you know, you would you would use that survey question, use the survey questions. Um, to help make sure that that person is in the market for that, you know, for, you know, furniture set. Contests, so the, 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 the next type of, of promotion. So again, contests, um, uh, uh, we're asking someone to enter, um, not only, you know, fill out the form, but make a submission as well, in which, you know, we'll, we'll it'll be judged by a panel. So the, again, the most typical, forms of contests are photo contests, uh, video contests, or written submission. Uh, you'll see an example of, of a photo contest on the right there. And you know what would happen is people would enter uh, their photos and a panel of judges, which you would you know pre-select before you before you launch the contest, would end up judging all of the photos and deciding on a winner that way. And again, different from the sweepstakes where you're just randomly selecting and entry. Again, offer a valuable prize that goes a long way in gaining uh, participation. And again, um, ask survey questions. Um, um, you know, the, the more data, the better. OK, quizzes. So now we're getting into um, something that falls under a, 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 a bucket called interactive content. Um, so, you know, kind of the hierarchy is promotions and then under that is interactive content. Um, and this is a little and we call it that because it's, it's more interactive and engaging. Um, and people love taking these type of quizzes. So you can see, you know, there's there's two different types of, of quizzes. There's a personality quiz, 
which is an example on the right there. Uh, I'm sure some of you have taken something like that before. They're pretty popular on social media. You'll see them. Um, you know, what's what's your home decor personality? And based on the, the questions, your answers to the questions, it'll tell you what your you know home decor style is. Um, so that's a personality quiz, and that can be, you know, for, for many types of things. Um, it could be, you know, uh, what kind of grocery shopper are you or what kind of driver are you? Um, you know, again, people people love taking these types of things, and uh, it's it's just it's a it's a way to to connect with a, with a customer that is engaging and definitely unique and different from traditional advertising, where you're you know more uh, uh, it's a, it's a stronger call to action saying you know buy this now. This is a, a much more engaging way to to do that. Um, or uh, the other, again, the other version of a quiz, an intelligence quiz, where you're testing someone's knowledge. You know, uh, you know, uh, uh, what's your real estate IQ? You know, how well do you know the, the the housing market? You know, that could be an idea for a real estate agent um, um, to 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 do because they want to, you know, they want to be the the ones administering this quiz um, and testing people's knowledge and being the authority in, in the real estate market. Um, for quizzes, so you know, just because it's a quiz doesn't mean there can't be uh, some kind of uh, prize component to it. So you can add a prize component to this as well. So just by taking the quiz, you can be entered to win a prize um, uh, uh, for your business, from your business rather. Um, it's you know, I I think you know these types of quizzes are engaging enough that people may enter them without a prize. But you know, I I would say always, you know, if you're able to offer a prize, because again, that helps with the the participation and the amount of people that you can ultimately um, uh, gain as leads. And you know, their old trusty uh, ask survey questions at the end. I'll always I'll always say that. Brackets. So we talked about this uh, earlier, and this is one of my favorite promotions that we've ever run. Um, uh, with one of our partners, uh, uh, Hoffman Sausage Company. I'm sure they're, uh, we'll ha we have a lot of Hoffman fans in here, um, and some of you might even participate in this. Um, but uh, 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 this was a bracket, we call it Meat Madness. So we ran this during March Madness, and it was a bracket, and I'll, let's see, can I zoom in here a little bit? Yeah, I can zoom in here, I'll show you guys um what the bracket looked like so so we got a list of, of of some great hoffman products and we put them in this bracket and then the community came in and voted on um uh uh the products that they like like the most um and you can see it's matchup style so you know people voted on german franks versus the summer sausages and unsurprisingly um you know the the German Franks came out on top as the champion. That's that's the you know Hoffman's you know crown product. So um, this was a really cool interactive um, um, promotion that we did, and you can see you know th there was a, a a prize component to it. So it was a, a cooler full of uh, Hoffman products with a um, bunch of merchandise. Um, so you know that that definitely helped uh, with participation. Uh, uh, for this, but it was, you know, I, I think even without it, it would have been a great, um, uh, it would perform greatly just because the timing was so well. Um, we ran it during March Madness, so people had bracket fever. So um, that was just, you know, a really creative way to, to do that. And it's something that, you know, um, I'd recommend that, that you look at there, you know, I, I see them all over the internet, especially, you know, during March, during college basketball season. OK, so now that we've uh, given you a rundown of um, what the different types of promotions are and how they benefit your business, um, I'll give you uh, just a brief step by step of how you might um, go about creating a promotion and executing it. If you don't, um, uh, if, if you're doing it um, uh, internally and not working with a promotions partner. So the first thing you want to do is choose your type of promotion. So it can be again 
a quiz, a contest, sweepstakes, bracket, um, something out to survey a poll. Um, but it should be, you know, it should be based on what your business goals are. So if you're trying to, you know, get as much ROI um, as possible, as much lead generation as possible, you want to design your 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 promotion around that. Maybe just a simple to enter sweepstakes where you're not asking people to do too much. You're not asking them to take a quiz or a photo contest. Even those things are really engaging and really fun. If you just want a lot of a lot of people to to see it and enter and um, have high potential for lead generation, then you'll probably just run a, a simple sweepstakes. If you're looking, you know, to really engage people and you know promote something specific um, and and you know have a a really fun promotion, then you might go with a video contest or a photo contest or a quiz. Um, so you know it all depends on what your business goals are. Uh, then you'll want to decide what what prize you're offering, uh, what what the prize is you're offering. Um, and again, it you know it should be tied to the theme of of the promotion. So if you know you know if if you're um, a tourism you know destination, you're you're promoting, you want people to come to your um, uh, uh, come to your town and experience your things. Then you you know the prize you're offering should be. Um, a, a trip to your destination and a package of different things they can do when they get to your destination. Um, so, you know, the, the prize should really tie into the theme and what you're trying to promote. And again, offer the most valuable prize that you can. Um, don't go above your means or make it, you know, not worth it for you by by offering too much. But, you know, try and find that sweet spot of, of um, you know, where you can get some good participation. Uh, next, you'll want to create your contest page. So you'll 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 need somewhere where people can um, come and enter uh, your contest. So this could be a page on your website. Um, it could be run on social media. I know Facebook is is pretty intuitive um, to running contests. Um, so you just need to decide and you know create where that uh, to decide where you're going to run your contest and then create that page. You know, and have obviously the functionality for people to enter a form um, and then go into um, a database. You'll need to develop your promotional materials and plan. So you'll need to create, you know, some imagery, some logos, some some things for the contest. Um, um, you know, and then and then put that into um, a, a plan to distribute. So what, how are you going to get people to come in and join? Or participate in your promotion. Um, you know, you can do that through, you know, promoting on social media. You can promote it, you know, at your brick and mortar. You can promote it on your website. Um, you know, you can promote it through your email newsletter. Um, you can, you know, uh, uh, buy digital ads. You can buy TV ads. Um, however, you want to promote it, um, but you'll need to have that plan, and then obviously develop the materials um, um, to 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 uh to do that um important step that um you know may, may get overlooked by uh if you're doing this um on your own or your first time is that um you need to create a set of rules um without rules you know we'd, we'd have uh chaos um but that that needs to be a component and you can you know link to that on your contest page you can link to your rules um but it needs to be somewhere so you know uh, some things that you want to include is obviously a description of promotion, um, uh, who's eligible to enter and who isn't. So, for example, you know if uh, if you're running a, a promotion for your business, you probably won't want um, employees of the business to be able to enter. So you want to be able to put that in your rules. Um, also, you know you you probably don't want anyone under 18. There's you know there's um, uh, state and or you know national rules against um uh or or there's specific rules made for people under 18 so usually you want to go 18 or above and then the geography you know is it people only in Onondaga County is it people only in New York who are eligible is anyone in the United States who's eligible you'll need to clearly define those things um you'll need to outline how to enter you know the steps taking you know how, how are we how how does one enter this this promotion 
you need to describe what the prize is that you're offering, including the average, or excuse me, the approximate retail value. You need to, to line up the privacy policy, um, limitation of liability, just in case, um, you know, things go array. You want to be able to protect yourself because you are dealing with, you know, um, you know, a monetary exchange or giving something away. So all of those things, there's tons of um, um, uh, 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 articles on the Internet to help you with that, um, um, getting those rules started, but they are necessary. They do need to be included. Um, but then once you have all that, you should be all set and you can launch your promotion. Um, I recommend three to four weeks um, runtime. Usually after that, you know, you start to, you know, get diminishing returns. Um, so three to four weeks is usually the sweet spot. You can go less if you want. Um, so you run it for three to four weeks and then you wrap up for your promotion. Uh, you do that by selecting and notifying the winner. So that that information collected will come in handy. So you notify the winner. And then usually, you know, people want to see that people, you know, won these things. So it's great to do um, an announcement. You can do it on your social media uh, or on your website. Just make sure you get the permission, the uh, winner's permission first, um, especially if they're, you know, using your uh, an image of them or their name. Um, you'll definitely want to get their permission. But, you know, I highly encourage you announcing the winner. And that just gives you more good, you know, more goodwill by you know posting that you you gave away something to uh, a lucky winner, and then put your leads to use. So you know after the contest is over, you know you'll have all the people that that um, entered and opted in to be notified by your business um, from this promotion. So then whatever the opt-in is, excuse me, if they opted in to be added to your email newsletter then I would get to, you know, crafting a newsletter um, that speaks to that person. Hey, thanks for entering this promotion. I see that, you know, you're you're in the market for, um, you know, a new set of tires. Here's, you know, 20% off these tires. Or I see that you're in the market for um, an oil change pretty soon. You know, here's, here's $20 off an oil change. Um, so these are, you know, based on the um, information that you asked for, you can segment um, your list of leads, you know, by the by the uh, 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 data that they provided you. Um, and then, you know, if it's if it's an email, you're sending an email. If your opt in said, uh, uh, yes, I would like this business to call me um, to schedule a consultation, then get your, you know, the, the your sales team or whoever is in charge of making that phone call, get them on it. You don't want the lead to go cold. Um, so just make sure that you're doing the the follow up and actually, you know, again, the 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 really the the best thing about um, contesting, in my opinion, is that the the the, um, the people that you can contact afterwards. So you want to make sure that they are executing on that. Just gonna do a time check real quick. Twelve forty, okay. We're on a good pace here. Um, so. Now we're into uh, case studies. I know this is this is what people want to know, right? How how well do they work? You know what what have you know businesses seen as results? What's the lead generation actually look like? Um, so I got a, I got a few for you. Uh, the top one, uh, one of our most successful partnerships with promotions uh, that we had, it's a local retailer, um, a grocery store. They did um, four separate sweepstakes with us in 2020. And each time they offered four two hundred fifty dollar gift cards as prizes. So in total, they offered uh, sixteen two hundred fifty dollar gift cards throughout the year um, to their store. And that's you know that's that's a really really good prize. And you can see again how that great prize um, below. You'll see how that led to um, really great participation. But again, it, you know you don't need to offer you know several thousand dollars worth of prizes to get people to to enter your contest. Or your promotion, um, but it, it really is a you know kind of a direct relationship. It's one to one almost. The more you offer as a prize, um, the more people are inclined to uh, to enter, and then the more opportunity you have to speak to that person um, um, through a, a, a you know email or or, or or calling them or whatever you're doing with that lead list afterwards. So over fourteen hundred people entered the sweepstakes throughout twenty twenty. Um, 
And that business added over 4,500 4, contacts to their email newsletter. They saw an increase in store traffic and they had new com customers who commented and, co and, and, and came in and said that they, um, uh, they visited the store because they saw this promotion. So very successful, um, great ROI for, for that business. Uh, we had a company that offered uh, 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 a set of new windows up to forty nine hundred dollars um, um, to a lucky person. So it was a giveaway, a sponsored sponsored sweepstakes, and nearly eight hundred people entered it. Um, out of those eight hundred, two hundred eighty of those people opted in to be contacted by the window company, and they have a they have a sales team that picked up the phone and they called those, you know, 280 people. Um, and that was, you know, great lead generation for them. And even further, because they asked a survey question if they were a homeowner, and they asked another survey question if they were looking to replace their windows in, within a year, they were further able to, to segment that lead list and really qualify um, um, 121 people who were like, you know, great potential customers if you're a window company and you know someone's a homeowner and they want to replace the, you know their windows this year that's a really valuable prospect so um, um the lead generation obviously worked out great um and then the last uh case study i'll i'll, I'll uh, uh uh talk to you guys about is a quiz so we'll we'll get one of those in there um it was a financial preparedness quiz and this one i really um, I really thought was was brilliant because, um, you know, it was it, it was ran last year in 2020 and it was, you know, in response to, um, you know, the uncertainty of COVID, you know, a lot of people, you know, were uncertain about unsure about their financial future. And, um, you know, this wealth management company um, sponsored a quiz with us that tested people's financial preparedness. And, you know, that kind of, you know, it acted as a, a, a way to, to um, allow people to really see how well they were financially, but also, you know, when they realized, you know, they might not be as prepared financially as they thought they were, you know, that really rang a bell, you know, that, that or set off an alarm right there. And, you know, the, 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 that business that administered the quiz with us, you know their brand was right there, and people were realizing that um, that they weren't where they thought they should be financially. And oh look, here's this wealth management company that I can now talk to um, about shoring up my finances. So this financial planner added 124 new opt-ins to their database. Um, they uh, uh, out of that, they got eight people immediately who wanted to have a conversation with with an investment professional from the company and, and you know it, I, I know you know any I have a couple of friends who are financial planners and they would um, you know they would do a lot of things to be able to get eight people um, you know who are ready to have a conversation about their finances right now um, so again um, great lead generation okay so uh, you know, a, a couple of slides ago, I talked about, you know, what do you want? What do you do if you want to run a, a promotion on your own? What are the step by steps? How can I get that done? Um, here, I'll talk about, you know, uh, uh, your option as um, uh, your options with working a promotions partner, um, such as Advanced Media New York. Um, you know, we as you can see, we've, we've helped a lot of businesses um, um, get into the, the promotions game, um, start running sweepstakes and contests and things like that. Um, so that's, you know, that's our, uh, uh, our offer is, is that we can really help be that business that, that, that helps you um, take off with that. So we'd work with you to create a custom promotion that, you know, it's based off your business's goals. Um, you know, you, you tell us what, what you want to accomplish um, and perhaps what you want to um, um, give away um, in your contest. And then we come back to you with with a proposal that helps meet those needs. Um, you know, you know, if you're uh, um, um, if you're doing this internally, you know, you can use your your Facebook and you know, your email database that you have currently and your website and your brick and mortar to promote these things. Uh, but when you work with us, 
um, we're able to utilize um, our website, Syracuse.com, NYUP.com, um, our, our, you know, our paper, the Post Standard, plus our email and social media audiences that, you know, we've developed over the years. So we use those things to help get eyeballs and gain participation on, on um, uh, the, the, pro the promotion that you work on with us. And then, you know, we, you know, I think one of the biggest benefits of, of working with us is we build all the promotional materials. We don't have the heavy lifting really is, is what it is. Um, we create and distribute the ads. We handle all the legal and, and, and the rules side of that. Um, and that can get, you know, um, it can be a little tricky sometimes. So that, you know, that can be time consuming. Um, we manage all the entries we pick and, you know, usually we'll, we'll offer to contact the winner. So we really do all the heavy lifting. We execute, you know, mostly the whole thing for you. So um, that's, you know, that, that's one of the, you know, main benefits of working with a promotions partner. And on the right there, you'll see um, uh, an award that we won as uh, Advanced Media New York as the best mid-sized market for our contesting vendor. Um, so this is the company we work with um, for our contesting platform, um, Second Street. Um, we were a, a winner um, of, of, I think, over a thousand different media companies throughout the country um, of our size. So there's small, mid and large. We fell in the mid-sized market and they award us as the best mid-sized market for helping um, um, local businesses get into contesting and promotions and help them drive results. Um, so because of our ability to, to help drive results for our businesses, we were able to um, to get that award. Okay, uh, that wraps up the, um, the presentation portion uh, of today. Um, so any uh, pre-submitted or questions that you want to ask now, um, I will open it up to that. Thanks, Dylan. Thanks, Dylan. Um, um, we do have a couple of pre-submitted questions. Um, the first is, um, what works best in gaining participation for some of these contests? So knowing that you put a lot of the work up front to set it up, how do you make sure that you're kind of getting optimal return there? Sure. So, great question. Let me reference back to um, this slide right here. So, um, email. Not only is it a great ROI for your business overall, it's great in gaining um, uh, contest submissions. So if you have an email database and you're running a contest, make sure that you use that. It's the number one way to get people to enter your promotion. Facebook works well, um, you know, to get people to enter. Um, you know, uh, putting on your website. Those, you know, those are different ways. Email is the number one way, so I highly recommend um, that that is uh, a, a way of, you know, you use that to uh, gain entries. All right. Um, the next question that um, somebody sent in is um, kind of related to the entry form. Um, is it necessary to ask survey questions on the, the, the entry form? Yep, so um, it's it's not necessary. And I've actually, you know, there's been one or two times where um, we've been working with with uh, local business and they've said, well, you know, survey questions sound good, but um, I feel like, you know, that'll just turn people away because you're asking for too much information. Um, and I honestly haven't found that to be the, the experience. I've never found that, um, um, you know, people will, will shy away because they are entering to, to win something valuable, um, they'll offer up that information. Um, and if they don't, they don't. Um, you know, that's 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 fine. We don't want any you know false information or you know uh, uh, information that's valuable to you, anyways. Um, so it's but but it's not necessary. Um, but th there's really no reason why you shouldn't because you'll gain that valuable data because you can segment that that list of people afterwards um into their different interests um and they're really in my you know in my experience they don't prohibit people from entering so i would say um include them great um the next 
question we have here is related to um, legal and kind of expanding on that a little bit. Um, you did pr provide um, some things to consider when kind of setting up the rules and regulations for some of these programs. But, but how do you actually know that you're following the strict guidelines that you should be following? It seems like a kind of a tangled web there. Yeah, yeah, well, um, I can I can speak from my experience and, and I know that we're always following um, you know, guidelines and, and, and you know, rules of, of New York State sweepstakes because I work with our uh, attorneys to make sure those are vetted and everything is, is you know, it, well in place. Um, and, you know, if, if you're, if you're uh, working on your own, I'd highly suggest you involve your, your business attorney, um, um, get them involved and have them look at it. Otherwise, you know, you'll probably have to do a pretty thorough um, um, you know, search through, through, you know, Google, making sure that you're hitting everything that needs to be asked in that, um, in those rules. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, you know, I, it's, it, it can be, you know, a, a little time consuming and something that, you know, is, is, um, you know, people, you know, might, might shy away from, but I would certainly suggest, you know, involving, uh, your, your business attorney in that, and making sure that they um, sign off on, on the rules that you have. All right, so this person actually has an interesting idea here. So um, how can you use multiple contests to create a series to keep people interested? So instead of just setting up, you know, one speed stakes or one contesting message or mechanism, how can you kind of link them together? Yeah, that that's a good question. Um, I think I think number one, it, it's it's you know a, a, a super you know smart idea to schedule out um, um, sort of like a, a content calendar of of um, of promotions. But what I would do is I would line them up based on um, seasonality or or important landmarks for your business throughout the year. So if you have like a few different you know, pushes throughout the year traditionally for your business, I would line up those those um, promotions um, that's, you know, synced up with those. So if you're um, I always use grocery, but it's 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 really an easy concept. If you're a grocery store, you want to be really visible Memorial Day weekend, July 4th, Labor Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas. So those important pockets, you know, throughout the year, that's when you want to be most visible. That's when you should run uh, a promotion. Great. Um, and we have one more pre-submitted question here. Um, how can I keep my contest contests fresh year round? I think you kind of touched on it with the the scheduling aspect, but if there's any anything else you can elaborate on. Yeah, um, I would say different different types of promotions. So we talked about um, um, sweepstakes, contests, quiz, bracket. You know, do do one of each of those um, throughout the year. Don't don't do the same thing every time. If you're looking to keep it fresh, um, and definitely you know you know the the design is important. If you want to um, you know create different logos, different images throughout the year um, to have unique looks for each of your contests. But I would definitely or promotions rather. But I would definitely say the best way to to spice it up. You know, do a photo contest, then do a simple sweepstakes, then do a quiz. You know. Um, uh, make it unique. All right. Well, thanks, Dylan. Um, you definitely gave us a lot to think about. And thank you all for your time and your questions here today. Uh, we hope you gained some insights and are walking away with a couple actionable to do's as a result of the webinar today. Um, and just a reminder, we'll be hosting the next Northeast Boot Camp webinar two weeks from today on Thursday, June 17th at noon. Uh, we'll be discussing creating compelling uh, video creative and how to make sure that video is seen by your most relevant audience. Um, to sign up for that session and other upcoming sessions, um, you could do so at ne, the letters ne, bootcamp.com. Um, and thank you again for your time today, and we hope to see you all back here on the 17th. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye.